Last week, we took you up near Canada to look at a couple of Navigator 5300s. Come along on our boating journey this week as we check out something completely different. I'm Scott and this is Allie. We're from Seattle and over the past several years, we've owned two boats in the Pacific Northwest. And now we're on our search for our liveaboard cruiser. So come along with us on our boating journey and see where it leads. So this is gonna be a fun interview. We actually, my nephew has a Boston Whaler 170 Montauk. And as you know, the company I work for actually sells Boston Whalers. And so we wanted to talk to him a little about um, what he does up here at the island, how he uses the boat, and just ask a couple questions um, and also what it's like to own a whaler. So my first question, Jake, is how long have you had this Boston Whaler? Ah, three years. Got it right before my daughter was born. So it was a gift to myself before uh, before I had to not have fun toys anymore. And were you looking at a couple different types of boats or what made you pick this boat? You know, I always wanted a center console boat and I wanted something that I could beach as well. You know, something that I could come to shore, I could do plenty, plenty of fishing in and then the kids can get in and out pretty easily along with the older folk as well. And what types of fishing or crabbing do you guys do here on the beach? Well, we, we do, you know, fishing whenever uh, things are open. I mean, obviously salmon. Um, a bottom fish, but there's not as many bottom fish to catch anymore. So a lot of dogfish, uh, unfortunately, but at least they're a good fight. Okay. And you get crab, right? We get crab, we get the Dungeness crab, we get rock crab as well. He's right out in front. Cool. Yeah, and I got a little pot puller on the back. Makes it a lot easier. Saves the hands, saves the shoulders. Good, we'll get some footage of that today. Yeah. And then you guys go shrimping too. How far down um, do you have to fish for? You know, shrimping's in, in the, uh, this area is open uh, really two days out of the year and you're about 250, 300 feet for oh, those. Wow. Yeah. And you've done that spot. on this boat too? Uh -huh. Very cool. And what do you like the best about this, the Montauk? You know, I, it's an unsinkable boat. Oh. Yeah. Have you seen the, the footage? Where they oh yeah, where they cut half? the half off. Yes, I yes, know. yeah, legendary. And it's got lots of storage. So this looks like a seat, but it's also a cooler? Correct. And uh, I don't use it as a cooler. I use it for life jackets, but yes. Very cool. And then there's more storage here. There is. There's some, there's some more storage underneath here. Um, and it's pretty dirty down there. That's where we keep the anchors and some extra stuff and, uh, you know, bow lines and so on. Very cool. Yeah. And it's pretty hardy. All you do is cover the center console uh, during the winter and that's all you have to do? Well, I got a, yeah, I mean, I, I got a whole boat cover for, for the winter. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah. yeah. But uh, but it, when it's sitting out on the buoy, I just cover the, the middle console. And so you take it out at winter and store it on the hard? Right. I have a little little uh, lean-to okay. that I store it under. So, whalers are unsinkable, they're legendary. You think mm -hmm. you'll own it forever? Hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> uh, you always want something bigger. Your eye always sees the, the one that maybe has the cutty cabinet in it or something like yeah. that. But, uh, what size engine is on this one? Uh, it's a 90 Merc. 90? Yeah. Okay. And do you have a troll? You don't have a trolling? I don't. I actually have one that I want to put on, but uh, I didn't get to that project yet. So, that, that's n next winter. Cool. Well, should we go crabbing? See if we got some crabs? Yeah, let's get dinner. The Boston Whaler 170 Montauk is a fantastic boat for beach life. It's rugged enough to come ashore on rocky beaches and to handle heavy crab and shrimp pots, but safe for Pacific Northwest waters and comfortable for the entire family. With plenty of storage and center console navigation, the Montauk offers the Pacific Northwest boater all the comforts needed for a day on the water. So if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Be sure to leave your comments down below and be sure to subscribe. Ring the little bell up at the top so that you get notifications for future episodes. Thanks you guys for following us. We really appreciate it.